Coogan Cassius, IFL TV, here in Cardiff, part two of the press conference of Cleverly Bellew, uh, Repeat or Revenge. It's been a long day, Nathan. Long day, mate. Long day, but what an ending. Look at this, man. Look at this turnout, you know. All these guys here supporting me. It's fantastic, mate. You know, this is, um, this is a great feeling. i I got to thank them, you know, for turning out, showing me support, and just backing me all the way. I mean, it's got a little bit of credit to the pair of you today because you've got your points across each of you and you never overstepped the mark and yeah. you was put together in head-to-head -head situations about three times today and you guys kind of held it together when we know the initial press conference that started this all off at the O2 three years ago yeah. was where it nearly, you know, kicked off big time. But, you know, you guys have sort of matured and you know how to hold it together when you need to. Well, it's got to me, you know, as much as as much as much we, we we talk and we say stuff and, you know, we we want to we want to go at each other, but there's a time and a place, and that time and the place is the 22nd of November. You know that that's where we got to do it. You know we can we can say what we want here. He can try his mind games and bring up history and bring up facts and stats and all this other shit he brings up. It's irrelevant. It's irrelevant because the one fact is that I beat him once. The second fact is that I'm going to beat him again. That's the only facts that matter. You know and and. What matters, producing the goods on fight night. You know, all this is is great for us. It's great for the fans and the rivalry, the grudge match. But fight night is where it's done. And you know, I'm I'm preparing my body for that. I'm preparing for a tough fight. I've started preparation. I'm training well. And I, you know, I'm 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 ready to to put it all into action and put everything on the line. Everything on the line. Tony took pleasure from two things that. Uh, come from you from the Liverpool press conference earlier on today the first thing that he'd never heard you say that the fight was that particularly close until today and the second thing is that your both opponents that you faced at Cruiserweight on your debut and your second fight uh, you said in the press conference that you felt that your ones weren't the same as his and his ones were slightly uh, of better standing if you like yeah well you know the, it is the, you know, the truth of the matter is the first fight excellent fight Excellent fight, you know, both both light heavyweights, world title on the line. I was 24 years of age in Liverpool, and it was a close fight. Every round was close, but I did win the fight. That's a fact, you know. Every professional judge out there or, or boxing writer, nine out of ten had me winning that fight by two or three rounds. You know, and that's that's just facts. That's that's clear. I won the fight, but it was close, and too close for comfort. And that's what I'm saying. That fight was too close for comfort. People want to see a rematch. The fans want to see a rematch. He's whinged, he's cried, he's moaned. He's wanted the rematch. He doesn't really want it. He doesn't really want it. I've got that guy's number. I've got his number. I beat him in the first fight. I know what to do to beat this guy. I've got his number. He, does, he, doesn't, he doesn't really want it. He's, he's showing up, pretending he wants this fight. Deep down, he doesn't. I've got his number. But next time, I want to win more clear. You know, and will judges be needed? Possibly not. You know, at cruiserweight, I just can't see this going the distance. You know, in all fairness, he's a better fighter. I'm a better fighter. More power, more energy. Something's got to give. How do you rate his power at this weight? He looks stronger. Yeah, he does. You know, he looks stronger, and and and. And the record, you know, say in his last two fights, he's, you know, we we both we've had four fights in our last in the last four fights, and we have both had KO or TKO victories, you know, and his opposition slightly higher ranked, yeah, you know, slightly higher ranked, and as I said, he made the adjustment to cruiserweight slightly quicker, you know, he was a fat heavyweight as an amateur, so making cruiserweights a lot easier for him. It's taken me a bit more time because I'm doing the weight properly. And I feel strong at the weight. I've done it properly. I've trained properly. I've prepared right. The power, the big KO power, lies with him. There's no doubt. There's no, there's no doubt. He has that. He has the the KO punch. I'm not a one punch KO artist. That's not my style. My style. I'm relentless. I got fast hands. I got good punch variety. I've got a good chin, and that will be enough to beat Tony Bellew. It's not power. Speed kills. Are you going to be able to? keep your composure throughout the build up to this fight day one today we've got seven weeks not saying you're going to be yeah. put into situations well, media wise but to, you know, we've got it really you know it's like 
as much as we want to let loose and, and rant and rave, you know, they got to be a, you know, we got to be professional about it. We're professional fighters at the end of the day. Um, you know, we got to conduct ourselves with dignity. Um, so, you know, I, 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 I'll definitely conduct myself well and, and, and hold it all together. I'm sure he will as well. And because we know this is just a calm before the storm. And that's, the storm is going to be on the 22nd of November where, where it's all on the line. It, it is all on the line, you know. And whoever loses, possibly career over, whoever wins, goes on to challenge for that world title. All right, Nathan. Listen, thanks for all your time today. And uh, I said it's been a long day, but you're at home now, so yeah. <laughs> you can kind of relax after you leave here. So uh, best of luck with the, the build-up and the training leading up to this fight. And uh, we will anticipate it uh, eagerly on the 22nd of November. Top man, Coogan. All right. Coogan Cassius, Nathan Cleverly, IFL TV. Thank you very much.